uh, the back. What are you doing? Just seagulls shitting on the roof. Good morning. The kitchen is messy. The conkers are ripe. The glass is frosty. And I have a broken neck. Now I've got this ongoing problem with my neck. The more I think about it, the more I, I'm starting to think I can actually pinpoint the exact moment where it all started going wrong for this long old neck. It was a video a long time ago where I turned Casper's apartment into a slip and slide. Um, and I slipped myself testing it out and nearly knocked myself out in the process. And I think ever since then, my neck has never quite been right. I went to go and see like a specialist because it felt very sort of out of place. And he clicked me back into place, I think like a day or two after I did the video. And this week as well has been a lot of looking at a laptop or looking down at my phone. And I think that's partly the reason why this has gone again. I think I've been looking at the laptop too much, hunched over, and the muscles that are connected to the vertebrae of the neck or whatever it is, they have just, um, something's pinged or something's crunched or something like that. And all the muscles around it have tightened up and to protect my neck, basically. Now, it hasn't happened for ages, which has been really, really good. Especially I was getting back into the gym again and things like that. It was starting to get a lot, lot better. But before that, it would always go if I was doing sort of overhead shoulder exercises, in particular, um, shoulder press. As I was pushing the weight above my head, my neck would protrude forward slightly like that. I can't even do it because it's gonna hurt too much, but my neck would protrude forward and then I just hear like a crunch and then straight away I felt it sort of quickly, so everything sort of tense up and then I can't look left. Looking right's okay. Looking left, I get to about here. Looking up is tricky. And looking down, that's about as far as I can get it. That happened a few times, but always doing like workouts and overloading the weight and just trying to do too much too, too soon. But yesterday morning, I was in the shower just washing my hair. And all of a sudden, I felt like three of my vertebrae go like, like that, almost like a crunching feeling. And straight away I was like, oh, you're kidding me. And I knew, I was going like that. I could feel it starting to seize up. And neck's gone. The neck's just completely gone. And it still now feels like it's almost like very sensitive, sort of pinched, nervy feeling. It's not, it's so restrictive. It's so claustrophobic. It's a, it's a horrible feeling. Yesterday was a complete write-off. Um, and to make matters worse, England also very, very nearly got into the final of the Rugby World Cup. Um, I'm a massive rugby fan, big England rugby fan, and um, we lost to South Africa by a point, by a measly point. And of all teams, South Africa, which, if you know, I, I, hang, I hang out with a lot of South Africans. Yeah, yesterday was not a fun day at all. I rushed to go and see an osteopath slash sports masseuse yesterday, which definitely helped, but I'm slightly concerned that it's, I'm still getting like twinges of like what feels like the bits between my vertebrae have squished like that. It feels like pinched nerves and that kind of thing. Luckily, I've had no pins and needles in my arms because apparently if you have pins and needles in your arms, it means that the nerves are trapped and it's a lot more sort of serious. So thankfully, I don't think it's too serious and hopefully after a couple of days, I'm hoping that by the end of today, it's going to feel a lot better. If not, I think tomorrow I'm going to have to head back to a chiropractor or an osteopath or someone to try and figure out how I get my neck. I've just got a long neck. Why is my neck so long? And I've got a big fat head. It's just weighed down with just a little pointless crap in my head that makes my head extra heavy. And my neck's like, I can't handle this weight. Also, what is the point of having a long neck? Because people say, oh, it's nice to have a long neck. It's good for like modeling. It's good for being a model. I'm five foot eight and a half. So even with the long neck, it makes makes no difference. I'll never be a model. It's not gonna happen. Maybe an Airfix model or a Lego model, but not a human model. But alas, on with the day. Sorry to moan at you for a good three or four minutes, but it's Sunday, which means it's time for a sausage sandwich. Sausage sandwiches, sort of. But not quite a sandwich, it's a sausage on bread a la brune sauce. And before I do eat that, I just realized that at some point, Ideally today, but with this neck, I don't know if it's me happening now, but I need to move this sofa and this dining room table into the garage to make room for the new dining room table that's arriving next week. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and ask Diane to help me and probably make poor Diane. She's just finished dancing. They're a long week of rehearsals. 
Um, a late night last night, I was doing Strictly, and then she's gonna come home and I'm gonna go, Diane, can you help me lift this and this and this and this into the garage, please? Okay, one bench moved, and I forgot, I've got these boxes, right? I can't remember what, this, what came in this. Um, actually, I do, it was a coffee table. This is when I'm glad that you can't smell my vlogs. You can only see them and listen to them, because if you could smell this box, you well and truly agree with me that this box smells like poo. It's always like this kind of cardboard just absolutely hoons of poo. Which makes me then think, is that because it's been recycled and when they recycled the old cardboard, there was a, someone left a shit in the box and they just recycled the cardboard and the poo. I always think about that kind of stuff. And also, we've got skeletons in our windows. Another one here. They need names. Give them some names, guys, in the comments below. Two skeletons, one each side. And also, obviously, we've got these two guys here. This one here. And a new addition, this little witch over here. Which, <laughs> used to, I'm sure, there's a little, there's a button here, but I think, if I remember correctly, it doesn't work. Remix, yeah, it's not working very well. God, you really hold that last note. Was that fun? Yeah. Do you like that one? Yeah. Should we tell Mummy and Dad to buy that for their house? Yeah. yeah? There you go. So now, Fear, you've got to get that now. <laughs> That's going right in your lounge. Now, this is some chili sauce branding. Look at that. Let's go firework. Let's move this thing. I love that we have a, a couch. Random sofa still Random here. Random sofa just in front of our table. Yeah. This is going to be heavy to move out. Should we check for bogey und bogeys underneath it first? I don't I, think it'd be that heavy. I, I mean, I haven't put any bogeys under there. Is that what you do when you're sat at the table? No, just just mean like people people might put bogeys there in general. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> no? What? Do we really need to move this now? If we don't, you're away all next week and I've got no one to sort of help me move it. So I feel like it's got to be today. How hard can it be, huh? We have to do a pivot. Look, it's vlog. It's a vlog, so we can make it look really easy. Look, just oh, it's not quite. It's not quite what I had in mind. There we go. That's better. This one's a lot easier. Pivot. <laughs> do you know that pivot scene? Yeah. Oh, good. Do you know it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> wait, we're going to fit for the door. No, wait. I haven't got shoes on. Ow! Hang on. Oh, oh. Hang about. Been nicking OT shoes. Yeah, I mean, she hasn't been in the show for how many years? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's still there, though, in she's, spirit. She's still with us in spirit. In spirit and in shoes. Mabuse, I'm wearing your shoes this weekend. Oh. And hopefully, hopefully these, I, I actually feel like these are the shoes. These Surely these were a pair of shoes she's worn. Yeah. On her series of winning the show. Smell them? What does it smell like? It definitely smells like a winner's shoe. Yeah, it smells like, it smells like success. I, I sm it smells like a double time. It smells like a glitter ball. champion. It smells like a, smells like I a, smell a glitter ball. It smells like two, one in each shoe. Yeah. It's dinner time and we've got our food, but now we've got nowhere to eat our food because the table is missing. Where are we going to eat? You just sit on the floor. Here's me complaining about my long neck. Look at the size of that. <laughs> that Puts is, mine to shame. That is you if you're an animal. Thing is, they don't have to wash their hair in a shower. If they did, they probably all have neck issues. Have you ever watched how a seahorse has a baby? Yeah, I have think you? so. They like squirt, and isn't it the male? Yeah, the male how squirts them out the tummy. That? You just like squirt, keep squirting out babies, mm. just like. This. And they go, would you like a water birth or a home birth or a C-section? You go, I want to do it um, how a seahorse sea does it. <laughs> yeah, I want to have multiple at once. <laughs> <laughs> Fire them all out at once. Get it done with. This is my favourite time on a Sunday, watching Diane. Oh, unpack yeah. her bag Honestly, from last week well, and no, repack her bag for repack, next week. I've got way too much because I just don't know what my week entails. Like, what is this? That Why don't you just so wear the same? Just wear the same. If you, if it was me, because I sweat so much and the stuff and it's stained. Yeah, but just rewear it. That's all part. No, it's all part of the process. Now I've got to go through it and go. Do I really need to take that? <laughs> and then do the sniff test and everything. Yeah. But in amongst all of Diane's crap in that bag, she found this, which is a present apparently for me. Well, since when were sea monkeys eight pound fifty? What was it not that? It couldn't have been. But also, this is this has been in here dried for so long. How on earth? What even? What are sea monkeys? I don't know. And how is it that they're I dried? They, um, do you know what 
they remind me of? Like a microbe. Like a... What are those things that is going around the country at the moment? Bed bugs. Yeah. Yeah, like water bed bugs, like basically. A, a proper bed bug. <laughs> World's only instant pets. Like, that's what they look like. But, like, why? Why do you They grow to two pet? centimetres in length. Which I don't... Oh, our washing smells so good. Is this the secret to the human race? Is this what, what, we, what we all stem from? Like, what if we are all actually just, like, in the grand scheme of things, out if you zoom out of our solar system, our universe, we're actually just sea monkeys. Don't make me overthink my life. Again. All of humanity lies inside you, one of these in ever, somebody's bedroom in another dimension. You always make my mind actually overthink. <laughs> because you always go on about, like, like today, I did not realise that dinosaurs, I thought dinosaurs were, like, a thousand years old. No, Doc, we've had this conversation a few vlogs ago. <laughs> did we? About woolly mammoths. Yeah, I said they were around at the start. Yeah, but we mentioned about them, them being around at the end of the Ice Age, so like thousands of years ago. Yeah. But there was, um, but dinosaurs were around 65 million Can't believe it. years ago. Can't believe but the world's been here a lot longer than that. A lot, lot longer. So like human, uh, human existence in the grand scheme of the timeline of the, the, the world, right? This, this, this very spot that we're stood in right now. Yeah. Human existence is like this. It will come and go like that. Oh, don't. It scares me. No, but it just means you've got to live your life. It means you've got to wear leopard print tights to train in. <laughs> if they pass a sniff I'm test. Doing... Oh. <laughs> you, you haven't been sniffed. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, let's crack open these bad boys and let's get our very first pet. I feel like that'd be easier to look after than a dog, at least. And probably um, It actually is our very first pet. It technically will be our first pet. <laughs> if you don't want to count that, that stray cat. Instructions. I'm guessing our pet's instant live eggs. What? Also, why are they made in the what? USA? I don't get it. One, water pure, water purifier. Then, th okay, one, two, and three. And we get a little tiny, or you could use it for your yogurt in the morning. A little tiny spoon, look. What's that for? Customer support. Customer support. It's a customer support slip. So if I cut along this dotted line, the original sea monkey's warranty. There's a warranty on these things. What? So if your sea monkeys turn out to be something else, like water bed bugs, you contact here, support at bandi store. We are we are sure you love the experience of hatching and growing up the original sea monkeys. In the rare situation that your sea monkeys do not hatch, we can help you. Can you eat them? Hang on, I've seen your tomb, Egyptian king. This is exciting. In the early stage of development uh, are the seeds of higher plants, wheat grains from the tombs of ancient Egyptian kings have sprouted after being sealed in urns for more than 2,000 years. The larvae are certain insects and thick-shelled eggs of some crustaceans, such as... Or wherever these are. Actually, so they reckon they're from, like, Egyptian tombs. Shut up. That's that is actually, wicked. That is a bit of you. That is a bit of me. Isn't it? Oh, my That's God. It's almost, like, fossilised. So, wait, put your water in there, then your eggs. Then you twist it around with a little spoon for 24 hours. Yeah, and then you put in the second thing, and then sunlight. Okay, right. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a process. But first things first, we put the water in. Okay, so the water needs to be twenty six degrees, but I think that kind of is. I haven't got a thermometer, but we just pour in our water purifier, like so. Stir it around. Done. Now in twenty four hours. Be ready for my new little pets. Whilst I am sorting out her clothes, I did a little bit of shopping of my own the other day, and I've done a little uh, M&S haul. That's right, I'm in my early 30s, I now shop at M&S for my clothes. I've seen a lot of things, and it was like adverts, or, you know, people doing like brand deals for M&S clothing, but if they have, or it's just natural, it's worked on me, because I was like, oh, I actually quite like these clothes. So I went to M&S and I bought various little bits and bobs. First thing actually is this, this sort of like rugby style top. I got another one in this color, but it didn't have it in small, so I had to get a medium, which I thought maybe a little bit too big, so I might have to take this one back or swap it out for a small, because I do really like these tops. What do we think to the medium? Too big or all right? I actually don't mind it, you know? Yeah, it's all right actually. It doesn't actually look that much different to the, this mirror. I know, it's absolutely mirror. filthy. <laughs> nice little, uh, Grey jumper. Oh yeah, cute. Yeah, like that? Yeah, nice grey jumper. I've got this uh, zippy hoodie, which not too bad, quite like it. Nice little grey long sleeve, little pocket for putting pens and little just piece of food, like uh, pistachio nuts in there, just all little... lovely. 
I wouldn't normally go for this colour, but I thought I'd try something different. Blue jump. Yeah. Oh, I like this. I feel like Postman Pat or something. It's a quarter zip, but it's very thin material, so I'm not massively convinced on this. I prefer a thicker material, but actually, this could be good for work. This is good for keeping my long neck warm. Look at that. Perfect for someone with a long neck. Look at like one of the characters from Cluedo. You just get like the sort of the shoulders and the long, long neck and the head on top. That's what I feel what Anne looked like. The same as that other long sleeve top, but in like a kind of sandy colour, which I quite like. These are the chinos that I mentioned. I've, I really struggle with buying uh, trousers, jeans, everything like that because of my skinny legs. I've always found it a massive challenge. So I've actually, believe it or not, I've got a pair of jeans I've had for like, must be 12 years now that I've just always used. So I've really struggled to find like good, good quality and good trousers that fit, but these seem all right. And I also love that they've got, not on this side, but on this side, they've got a little zip here that they pull down and you can hide more pistachio nuts in there or paper clips, you know, things like that, bits of blue tack. You can hide it all in there, look, perfect. Oh, and a little one here. For hiding, what you put in there? Golf tees. And I also got them in this colour as well, sort of like a sort of uh, brownie colour. But once again, I think they'd be great for like, for taking to work, wearing with a shirt these in particular and stuff like that as well, but also on the golf course. Lovely. Uh. Now they're currently just a heap on the bed, so. <laughs> what was once nice clothes are now all creased on this bed. I don't want to completely jinx this, but there's something about these long candles here that I just do not trust. Like that just does not look right to me. Somebody <laughs> is going to eventually knock into this and it's going to set the house on fire. Right, I've had my Sunday bath. Now it's bedtime, but we're going to put a movie on. A movie. I want your guys' opinions on this because basically when we moved house, we were like, bear in mind, I had a TV in my bedroom from the age of like, God, eight, I think. You have had. Like an old TV that only worked with my Sega Mega Drive back in the day. But then when I was like 11-ish, 10, like 11-ish, like I had my own TV in my room that had channels on it. Um, and I always just thought that was kind of normal, but everyone, a lot of people always say that actually it's bad to have a TV in a room. It's not good for like sleep health to have a TV. As a kid, never, ever, ever had a TV. All I wanted yeah. was one. Yeah. But I never, mum never let me. So I remember when we, were, when we were moving to here, we did sort of have a discussion and I was like, I was very much like, I don't think we should have a TV in our bedroom. I think if you want to watch TV, it's watch before bed. And then when we're tired, we go up to bed and we use that bedroom for sleeping. But we did, we did <laughs> cave in and we put a TV on the wall. Now, when I say we put a TV on the wall, we put this TV on the wall. Like this, it doesn't look too bad because it kind of looks nice. Obviously, there's a little cable we've got to try and hide at some point. Um, but looks all right. Looks great. This TV, in fact, was the first TV that I bought. When I first started actually earning money from YouTube, this was actually one of the first things I ever like treated myself with, which is this TV, which, to this day, 10 years later, mm. I still have this TV. And it's never, ever let me down. You can't get Disney Plus on it or um, Amazon, which is a bit annoying, but for Netflix, YouTube, BBC iPlayer and just general TV, this was, it's, it still holds up to this day. I absolutely love it. But the only issue is, if I zoom out, as you can see, <laughs> it's rather small. We were like, it doesn't really matter that it's too small on the wall because we're hardly ever going to use it. But it's movie night. We're going to, we wanted to put on a, a scary film to watch. Well, as it's Halloween very soon, um, we're into the horror films, uh, that kind of thing. So we're, put, we're trying to find like a horror movie to watch. But I'm like, I don't actually know if my eyes can actually see the TV from here anymore. It looks like a blur. So I'm thinking maybe we might have to bite the bullet and replace Old Faithful with a new television. What I think might be a good idea, have you seen those TVs that are like, they look like a, uh, a picture? So when it's not on, it shows, uh, yeah, you can put um, a digital picture on it. The Buckleys have got one, the frame, yeah. the frame TV. Yeah, exactly. It's like one of those on that wall would look quite nice. Yeah. Because then at least then you can go, it's not, we haven't got a TV in our bedroom. Oh yeah, it's a, actually looks sick here. It's an Andy Warhol. But they, they look about the same size it's as that. It's a Bandy Warhol. What? Bandy. What's 
<laughs> Andy Borhal. What are you doing? You know, ever seen that? No. Face jacker. No. Bra- um, Brian Bodonde. No. We don't know Brian. Please let me know what your favourite Halloween slash horror movie is. I'll go first. I've got a few. I... If it's if it's sort of young, Monster House. I love the film Monster House. Is that cartoon? kind of animation yeah but i just for some reason i just absolutely love that film in terms of like scary scary horror but the last one that really sort of made give me the gave me the the creeps was um midsummer mm. oh yeah that was weird and hereditary like those two in particular but my all-time favorite horror film Freddy Krueger's my favourite, like, horror character. Yeah, you don't know who Freddy Krueger is? He wears the red and black striped jumper, and he has the sort of, like, um, faces all, like, gross, and he's I got claws. Never yeah. heard of Freddy Krueger. What? you never seen Miracle, uh, Miracle on 34th Street? <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. No, <laughs> Two very different films. <laughs> Alexa, blow out the candles. <laughs> oh, my house isn't very smart. Once more. The Joe and Diane Christmas album coming to you this Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone. Um <laughs> I've uh, I've got Christmas radio on. I don't know why. We're not even in December <laughs> yet. So Heart good. Xmas. <laughs> then was like, it's Christmas songs. Um it's not still <laughs> the same night. It's actually the next morning. It's just pitch black. I'm dropping down off at the station. Ooh. But um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Enjoy your week. Thanks. You excited? Yeah, I am. Is it gonna be a good one? It is gonna be a good one. Always gonna be a good one. Yeah, I think this week's gonna, I think this week's gonna be one of your best weeks. Do ya? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. Cheerio.